So hey, if you're in St. Louis these days, I'm sure you've heard the cicadas. If not, maybe you're planning to visit St. Louis or uh, you're coming here later this summer. You are in for a treat. Got to be real careful driving with the windows down. Let me tell you, they will fly into your car. They say no. Maybe you're new to St. Louis, or maybe this is your first time living in St. Louis while we've had cicadas. Same here, actually. Last time they were out was in 2011, and I did not live here full time. So, this is a new experience. Couple things to know about the cicadas. First of all, good news. They're not here very long. So they come out in the first week of May and they should be gone by July. So May and June, they're here to party it up. But after that, they'll be gone. They do their thing, then they're they're back in the ground. We should be in the clear. It'll be a lot quieter outside. Apparently, there's actually not one, but two broods of cicadas out flying around right now. So we got brood 13 and we have brood 19. And apparently I had to do some reading. It's a rare occurrence for there to be two at the same time. So these two haven't been out together since 1803 and they won't be out at the same time for another 221 years. And that seems a little soon, but I'll, I'll deal with it because we can manage. Second thing to know, another good thing is they don't sting and they don't bite. So they might land on you or fly right into you, but they're not gonna sting, they don't bite you, they don't really do anything that could hurt you. So that's good. Now, next thing to know is they're loud, okay? If you've been outside in St. Louis, you've certainly heard them. If you're not in St. Louis right now, I'll show you a video so you know what it sounds like. There's like a there's like a certain rhythm to it. If you stand outside long enough, you'll notice like it'll get loud, then a little bit quieter, then it kind of like goes through a cycle. I'm like, maybe it's just the edibles, but I think there's like a pattern to it. You gotta listen really closely, but I swear that's a thing they do. You see their shells everywhere. It's got a nice little crunch to it if you walk over them. So you will definitely hear them one way or another, whether it's because they're loud during the daytime. At nighttime, it is quieter, but if you're out, you know, going for an evening walk, which I do all the time, uh, they're crunchy. Yeah. Next thing, is they're big. We're not talking about like a tiny little bug. Like these are like these are these are some big boys. Like they're not tiny insects. So if you're out driving on the highway, they are quite large. They're juicy. They leave a mark when you hit them. Like they dive bomb my car on the highway. Every time I get in my car, if I'm going for more than like a five minute drive, I will hit them. The windshield wipers don't do anything. In fact, they make it worse. I'm trying to use the sprayer, spray it, spray it some more because it's not doing anything. Spray it again, it's not doing anything. So let me tell you, having a monthly car wash membership, game changer. I've been using that either every other day or sometimes honestly once a day, I will go get the car washed. Or what you can also do is the gas stations that have those um, the, the brushes next to the gas pump that you can wipe your windshield with, also very good to have. The next thing you should know, they're clumsy. I will be outside going for a walk and they'll just like fly right into me. They'll like hit me and either just like fall off or they'll like hit me and like land on my shirt and I gotta like, you know? You could be walking around and you'll just like see them like fall out of the trees. It's always two of them because I guess they're mating like stuck together and you'll see a bunch of them that are like dead or stepped on and squashed that were just like two of them together. Almost kind of looks like a heart. So I guess that's um, appropriate if they're, you know, doing the dirty. But yeah, man, like we're out here, you know, selling houses. It's summertime. Walking up to the front door, just like, <laughs> you know, you got to hit them or they're going to hit you. I'm just what I'm saying. They will fly into your car, so I am selective about when I drive with the windows down. I really like driving with the windows down when it's nice out, listen to some music. I'll still do it anyways, like they don't really bother me. I'm, I'm not like afraid of bugs. It's the annoying thing is when they fly into your car and they can't get themselves out. Like I said, they're big, they're clumsy. They have no problem making their way into my car, getting out. That's that seems to be a struggle for them. So that's kind of it. Not really much content for this video. Just a just a quick one. Just kind of uh, sharing my experience with the uh, cicada apocalypse, cicada getting. Comment down below a wild or funny cicada story you have. I'm trying to think for myself. The best one I have is that. Like two days ago, um, I went to the gym for like maybe an hour. Um, came back. It's scorching hot. Uh, get in the car, turn on the AC, and there's like this buzzing. I'm like, ah, it's in the car. I sat down in the car, and for a second, I didn't know it was there. And I don't think it got in the car when I got in the car. I think it got into the car when I was leaving to go to the gym. So had to, uh, you know, roll down the windows and just kind of like shoo it out. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was in there the whole time that I was at the gym. So that's a fun one. 
yeah thanks for watching bye